Good Monday morning, guys. Did you miss us? Yeah, I know you guys did. Sunday was a very busy day <sighs> with church functions and stuff. Um, the guy that Dale usually helps out with the games, because there's usually like two or three of them that do the games, and then there's like two or three in my class and like so forth and stuff like that. Anyways, they, it was him and his wife, they went out of town, so... Dale was left in charge of the games, and then, like, right before we go, he's like, I don't want to do it by myself, and I was like, why are you scared of the children? He was like, I'm just tired, and there's so many kids, and I'm like, it can't be that hard, like, you're just being so dramatic. So he's like, will you just help me? And I was like, yeah, I'll just text um, the director and see if I can help you. So she's like, yeah, that would be fine. So I helped Dale with the games. Oh my gosh, y'all. That is, that's a harder than what I thought, okay? Because there's so many kids that just are like so excited and just rambunctious and hyper and stuff like that. And then you have some that don't want to play and you're kind of like trying to be like, come on, let's play, you know? And then you have some that are like so gung-ho and they're like, whoa, let's win this thing. And then you have, you know, the other kids that are kind of like shy, but they want to play and they kind of come out of their bubble a little bit. Anyways, it was really fun, but... Wow, <laughs> that's a lot more work than what I thought. So, anywho, it was fun though, definitely. I feel a little bit better. I took some NyQuil last night, so I feel a little bit better, like, when it comes to the cold, but I still have that nasty stuff in my throat and the nose and all of that. I don't know what's going on with that, but anyways, it was a really good Sunday. Um, I'm in my laundry room. You guys are probably like, why are you in your laundry room? You know? Don't, don't even look at this disaster. It was because I'm getting ready to throw in some laundry for the kids. But, um, it's been about an hour since I left for school. And I finished editing the vlog and got that up. So that's up and it's actually early. Normally I hadn't been putting them up there early because everything is just taking longer. But, anyways, I wanted to kind of check in and tell you guys good morning. And I hope you guys missed us because I missed you. I wanted to vlog so much, but... It didn't happen. Like, I, it was probably would have been pointless vlogging too because I was, you know, busy doing stuff. But that's like the stuff that you want to vlog is like, like the stuff at church. But there's just a little too much in personal. So that didn't happen. But anyways, I'm going to try to get my day going because I have so much that I have to get done today in like a short amount of time. So let's go ahead and get it kicked off with some laundry. It feels so dark in my kitchen, but um, I have some bananas that are going bad. Yeah, I hate seeing burnt bananas, but well, they're not burnt, but they're going bad. So they're burnt, or they're not burnt? Anyways, they're on their way to going bad. So anyways, um, I decided instead of tossing them out, I would make some banana bread because the kids love banana bread and so does Dale, and he can take it um, for little snacks or stuff like that um, to work and all that fun stuff. So I have followed this recipe in this book forever Ow. since before I got married so if you guys want the recipe it's just you sift together uh, one and three fourths cups of flour uh, one fourth teaspoon of uh, baking soda two teaspoons of uh, baking powder a half a teaspoon of salt and then you're going to cream well one third cup of shortening um, and then you're going to gradually add um, your sugar, which is going to be two-third cups till it's like light and fluffy. Um, and then you're going you're going to add and make sure it's like well beaten. Uh, two eggs and add to the uh, flour mixture one cup, which is like two or three mashed bananas, but always add extra. You're going to blend until it's smooth. Um, you're going to put it in the oven at 350 Whoa. until it's done. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's a quick little recipe there, but. I'm going to go ahead and try to get this um, show on the road here.
girls, don't you hate it with like, it's, it could be guys and girls too, but they, they're like, how come you ain't called me? Last time I checked, the phone works two ways, okay? Last time I checked, you could call someone and someone could call you and that's how it works and that's how you would get in touch with them and communicate. Yeah. That drives me insane when you finally do like get up with somebody, whether it be in person or Facebook or Snapchat or somebody finally does uh, message you or call you or whatever and it's like, how come you ain't called me? How come you ain't messaged me? Well, how come you hadn't called me? How come you hadn't messaged me? You know? Seriously. And then I love it when like these guys back in the dating world, glad I ain't got to deal with that, but when they're like, oh, I've missed you so much. I, I, I wanted to call you, wanted to, you know, text you, but why didn't you? Huh? You ain't have my number up in your phone? Like, seriously. Really? Why didn't you? If you missed me that much, you couldn't find, like, a second to call me or to text me or whatever it may be. I mean, like, really? Please. Please. I don't know. I'm glad I don't have to go through the whole, like, dating thing. That was, like, drama. It really was. It was drama. Drama. Drama mama. Ugh. I always, I was always, like, made out. And I guess sometimes now, I still am. I'm kind of made out to look like I'm a bitch. Excuse my language, but that's, like, the only nice way. Well, that's not even the nice way to put it. That's the only way I can put it. I'm always made out to seem like that, and I'm not. I mean... Most of the time when you see me in person, I'm, like, in a hurry. I've got, you know, like, ten man kids with me. You know, and some days I'm not feeling good. And sometimes I am just in a bad mood. But I try not to be, I try not to let that carry over, you know, into, like, other times. Like, there's times where I can be in a really bad mood, see somebody out. And I might be short to be like, oh, hi, yeah, how are you? Uh -huh. Bye. That's about it, though. But I hate it when people are always like, you're just really mean and you're stuck up. I am not. Whatever. Psh. Forget y'all. You know, everybody just had a rant about that. Anyways, I'm waiting for the uh, banana bread to finish baking. I've got like 33 minutes left. It's gonna be really, really good. Huh? It's gonna be really good. It's gonna be good. Bye. Say banana bread. Banana bread. <laughs> He's excited about it. But um, I gotta swap over some laundry. I need to go wash my makeup off from yesterday because I totally went to sleep with it on. Um, and then I'm going to do just a very light hand of makeup. And I need to get up my review for my, well, my Ipsy bag um, opening. Yeah. That so I just got done filming a couple of videos for my Ipsy um, because I got it over the weekend. And I was just super busy with everything. Stuff all over me. I didn't get to film it. Uh, so I finally got to... Um, get around to filming my like bag opening and then because I did get it like what was it Friday yeah I used some of the products already in the bag yeah uh, so I did a couple of the reviews on the videos that I had used I'm kind of sad so I'm like back there recording um my bag opening literally and I'm showing them the eyeliner that I got and I like put it on my hand and the darn thing broke I'm like, I was so freaking mad about that. I was like, what a cheap eyeliner. First of all, the, I mean, you, you can get several uses out of it. But if it is that flimsy that it just snaps like that. And I wasn't even applying pressure, okay? Get that. I was not even applying pressure. It just breaks off. Like, yeah. Plus, when I used it, I, I didn't get, like, really good color payoff. Seriously. I mean, if I had to, like, scribble on my eye really, really hard... Yeah, then maybe it would have showed up, but as far as, like, applying, like, appropriate pressure to it, no. There was, like, it just, even, you couldn't even see it. I mean, if you put it on your hand and you did it back and forth, like, several times, great payoff. But as far as, like, applying it to your eye, um, your waterline, mm, didn't work. But anyways, anywho, you can watch the thing for that, but my banana bread is done. That's what it looks like. Looks good and smells good. I added some, um some peanuts in there but anyways I got dressed <laughs> I have to when I pick up the kids from school I have to go get Dale from work and then I have to run to town to take him to a doctor's appointment Riley's asleep on the floor look how sad right 
I know. You guys are probably like, what a horrible mother. No, he had a little spot up on the couch and he was mad at me, so he's laying a little for sleeping. He knows that I have to run him to town to go to a, um, a doctor's appointment for his, um, his ankle. It's kind of causing him some issues and ugh, I don't know. He's trying to work through it though, but hopefully everything will go well with that. But I need to call in about 10 to 30 minutes because they're probably at lunch to set up a doctor's appointment for me to see what's going on with my body. So hopefully everything will be okay with that. Well, I made my doctor's appointment. It's for next Tuesday, so I'm gonna have to figure out child care stuff and then getting Dell from work. Maybe maybe he can have like a coworker or something bring him home that day, but <coughs> Riley's not too happy back there. He got woke up from his nap because we had to go. Cause he has a Dell has a doctor's appointment today. So um I was trying to be here a little bit early so there's not that many people in line um to get the kids but who knows. I've still got like what time is it? I still got like twenty minutes to wait. I don't know, I have this like sense of relief now that I've made my doctor's appointment, but then again, not like this <laughs> fear. What, baby? <laughs> you dropped his computer. Oh. Here you go. Anyways. <clears throat> okay, anyways, but I'm like relieved that I made the appointment because it's like, okay, great. Now we can finally kind of sort of see what the heck's going on. And then on the other hand, I'm kind of like, oh my gosh, what if it's really bad? Like, I keep telling Dell, like, what if Riley is her last child? Like, what if, what if we're not able to have any more? Which, I mean, it wouldn't be like horrible, horrible, but it would be horrible. You know what I'm saying? It would be horrible because we'd want more. If we didn't want more, it'd be like, oh, okay, well, cool, whatever. That's the way the cookie crumbles. But the fact that we want more and we feel like that one is still kind of like missing and we both feel like it's a girl missing. I don't know if it doesn't happen or if like for some reason like I'm afraid it's gonna be like surgery or something or like the endometriosis has like clogged up my tubes and I'm either unable to fix it or they'll have to like take my tubes or something that's what I'm afraid of or something like worse and I know it's probably just me overreacting but you have to have like those thoughts and those worries because I have to like mentally prepare myself like each time before I actually go and have a baby, I have to prepare myself. I have to say like, this is the worst pain you've ever gonna, you know, feel in your life, you know, it's worth it, which it is, it's all worth it. I mean, it's only like, you know, at the most, just the whole labor and all of that stuff, you know, at the most, it's like 24 hours labor pain for me anyways, in my past experience. And then, you know, it's being in pain, like maybe the first um, month after having a baby. So, I mean, it's, it's, if it was unmanageable, I wouldn't do it again, obviously. But, I don't know, I just, I have to kind of, like, prepare myself because I feel like if I don't, I'm going to get there and something's going to happen and I'm just going to, like, freak out. I'm going to have a panic attack or something. But, uh, will you stop texting me? Anyways, but, I guess, I guess we're going to wait 20 more minutes to get these kids and then head off to go get daddy from work and then head to town to his doctor's appointment so much running around to do. I'm so glad dinner's already done though. I just gotta heat it up. I just gotta like kind of sort of remodify it. So, yeah. So we're at the doctor's office in the car waiting for Dale. He's in the office sitting here with the kids having snacks and stuff. Poor dude just over there. He just wanted to come to the doctor's office. Now he's got to fix his van. He's like beating on some stuff with a hammer. I don't know what he's doing. It's like beating on his van over there with a hammer. I'm not sure what's going on. He's got a bunch of stuff in the back though. Ooh, can I borrow your carpet shampoo? <laughs> like seriously, can I borrow that? A new mailbox? Heck yeah! I don't know what he's doing over there, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know. The kids are back there having a snack. With a stick. Hi Preston. Hi Riley. They're having juice and crackers and reading books. Mom. Yes. 
Oh, I know, it's so good. You better not squeeze that out the window, weirdo. <gasps> I dig a hole in Anyways, hopefully this appointment won't take too long. Though. One pinch. Dude. He's still in use all over himself. Well, don't let him. You know, I just thought it was funny though. The dude's over there beating us no, stuff with a hammer. Oh, well, the appointment ended up taking so long that we had to eat in the car. So we got Winnie's Winnie's. Oh, <laughs> we got Winnie's Wendy's 99 cent menu stuff. I just had a double stack and some fries. The um, older boys had a burger and fries. Riley had chicken nuggets and fries. So we're gonna run get his medicine and we're gonna be on. Well, we're gonna go home. That's where we're gonna go. That's where we're gonna be. We're gonna go home. So I just got home and I took a really quick shower. Was that cord for a trip over it? Anyways, Dell is in one heck of a foul mood. And when I say foul mood, I mean foul mood. Who made this bed? I think the kids made this. Anyways, he is just in one heck of a foul mood. He's pretty grouchy with everybody. I'm gonna say it's because his ankle hurts. Um, it was really, really swollen. And the doctor had to give him some steroids to help with like the swelling and all that stuff he, he has to go back in like three weeks but the doctor was like whoa man that's that's really swollen and so he was saying that they might have to work on some um some like physical therapy stuff for his foot and Dell was like oh i get plenty of that I, you know i go up and down stairs and i do this and i walk at work and blah blah, blah. and he was like no 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 you need a different type of therapy so yeah just when you think everything is going to be okay nope <laughs> something else so He's pretty grouchy, and then the kids are kind of misbehaving, as children normally do. <clears throat> and, it, and it's not like... I mean, they, they, they act this way, I guess, normally. But it just seems like when you're upset, or you're sick, or in a hurry, or something, it just kind of feels like it's intensified, even though we all know that it's not. You know, so... I don't know. They're just being them, though. But we were supposed to come home, and we were supposed to have leftover... Um, chicken casserole, but then <laughs> we didn't get out of the appointment until later and then we had to run and drop off his medicine and we usually go to one Walgreens where we only wait for like 15 minutes and then we had to go over to the other one because that one was closed and they said it was going to be 25 minutes and it ended up being like 45 minutes. Insane. So I was like, okay, well I'm hungry, they're hungry, it was like, you know, 7 o'clock I was like, okay, well, they had their snack in the car, their juice and all that stuff. So I went, I went to go make them like, like wait any longer because well, I'd have to get home, put the casserole in the oven, and it's going to take at least 30 minutes to an hour to warm up. I was like, we're just going to grab something off the dollar menu. And that's what we did and come on home. And I jumped in the shower, got all cleaned up, and they got cleaned up. They're supposed to be laying down, going to bed. They're not. <laughs> I still hear them. Um... Dell's taking a shower now, and we are getting ready to call it a night. I know, as always, our Monday is just kind of like, but my goodness. Sometimes it's, that, uh, that's just life. Sometimes it just seems so, bleh. Not every day can be that exciting. If it was, it'd probably get old real fast, you know. That's what I think, like, if you had everything that you, like, ever want it, it would probably get old real fast because it'd be like, yeah, I've seen that too many million times, I've been there 20 million times, you know, it just, it just seems like it would be very dull. That's why I like, you know, life, like, kind of like how it is now, I would like it to be a little bit easier, like, financially, you know, but, you know, it, it keeps you on your toes, like, you never know what's gonna happen, like, what you're gonna, what you're gonna get out of it, you know? Yeah. So, I've been, like, worrying myself about my doctor's appointment, but I'm trying not to. I'm going to think positive. I'm going to think positive. Betsy, I'm still praying for you. Still praying. Good report. Pray for me. We'll pray for each other. Anybody else, you need a prayer request, leave them down below in the comments. I'll pray for you. You pray for my family. But, um, anyways, I guess I'm going to go ahead and call it a night before <sighs> Mr. Poopy Pants gets in here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's just, he's hurt. He's not feeling too good. But, Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching and subscribing and leaving all the great comments that you do on Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube, everywhere that you leave them. And, um, yeah, you guys are great. You guys are wonderful. You're my best fans. Or fans. I don't even like fans. I don't like to call it fans. Because fans, my idea of fans is like that. 
feel like banning y'all. Friends, there we go. You guys are my homies. <laughs> I feel so funny saying that, my homies. But y'all, y'all know what I'm saying. Anyways, but good night, friends, and I will see you tomorrow for Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, right? Yes, Tuesday.